M140O, giving it some large. Golf going, golf coming. I love the smell of uh, burnt rubber in the morning. <laughs> So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I am the Broke Petrolhead and today I'm at Miss Feet's end of month, end of July car meet and there are loads of, loads of cars that are literally just rolling in. Uh, I've been here for a little while and it's been very, very quiet but now cars are gonna uh, are rolling in so it might get a little bit more raucous. Um, so yeah, sit back, relax and uh, we'll see some cars. See you in a bit. Cheers. Right guys, as I said in the intro, today I am, uh, flies everywhere, time of year. I'm at Misfits Car Meet again at B&Q in Cannock and it is, it's been quiet for a moment but now cars are starting to come in so it might get a little bit more raucous now. The last time I was here, police actually turned up because someone phoned the police so it, it could go off like that again but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. If you're new around here, please do go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification because it really does help me out with the YouTube algorithm and it helps the channel grow. And I just want to say this is my third for this week. Um, the last video you would have seen would have been at the Tesco at Mumford, uh, Battlefield Tesco in Shrewsbury. And then today, I'm, like I say, I'm here in Cannock. And then the first of these three videos for this week would have been at Lunkless, another Lunkless video. So yeah, it's been a pretty busy week. Next week I've got another two car meets to go to, so I'm very, very busy at the moment, but I'm loving it and I'm enjoying it. Anyway, so if you're new around here, please do go ahead and subscribe because it really does help me out with the YouTube algorithm that helps the channel grow and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go and have a look at some new cars. So to start with, I've got Talia J just parked up. Um, when I got here, there was, I was pretty much the only car in this section. There's a few other cars over there. And then we have a duo of Nissan 350s, one hard type and one convertible. Uh, and as I said many, many times, that they make the best sounding V6s. So over here we have some absolute legends of the car world. We have an Evo AMR FQ360, I think that is. And then an R34 V-Spec. What more do I need to say about that? It's an absolutely stunning car. I love that blue. If I was to have one, I think I'd have that blue with probably the gold wheels or the black wheels. Absolute beautiful Skyline R34. Now just taking that engine bay. Now he's only just turned up, so it's really, really warm. <laughs> An incomer crew of cars. The M140 is popping and banging on his way in. I thought it was more cars than that. I saw a line of cars and kind of assumed that that would have been more than just them two. That Mercedes has got to be coming in here. No, it's not. C63. Very nice. Focus ST. Leon Cooper. Oh, there's a Harley Davidson rocking up. My second Harley Davidson of the week. Again, I do love the sound of a Harley.
Look at the size of that rear wheel. I will Harleys have a massive rear wheel like that, because that is ridiculously wide. So if you haven't seen my Lunkless video, um, there was a guy that had a Harley Davidson there, and he had the most beautiful forged, I think they're forged aluminium, but they were the polished wheels that I've ever seen in my life. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. There will be a link in the top right hand uh, part of the screen. Um, it was a very, very beautiful bike. And that one, although the wheels weren't like that, it was still beautiful. I like the chrome on it, and I'm not usually a guy that likes a lot of chrome, but on a Harley, like that makes a lot of sense. Ah, oh, Jaguar XK. Such a beautiful car, All right? By a Subaru Forester behind it. Do love those Jags. How elegant does that look? So I was told by the organiser there's probably about 200 cars that are supposed to turn up and judging by it, by the looks of things it looks like it's probably about that. Um, oh, a Morgan! Is that going to come in here or is that driving past? Nope, that's just driving past, you'll see it in the chat just in a sec. There we go. That's my second Morgan this week. Uh, at Lunkless there was a Morgan V8 and that was absolutely stunning, that was the dirtiest sounding Morgan V8 I have ever heard. Um, again, if you haven't seen that, go and check it out, the link will be uh, in the description box below or on the card on the side of the screen. Evo 10 just wrapped up. Uh, Mark 8 Golf rocking through. That's an R. I didn't know if that was a GTR or an R. But it's, a, it's an R. E46 rolling through. I assume that's coming here. Yes, I assumed right. Love that F-Pace. Sounds so good. That's going to have a hard time getting over that hump. Oh no, I was wrong. The jet is leaving. And causing a smoke. Smoke anybody? Man, that's carbon. <laughs> nice. You can hear that turbo whistle on that 435D. Love the sound of that turbo whistle. So, just uh, taking a quick walk around the uh, perimeter, or oh, through the car meet. And as you can see, there are plenty of cars rocking through now. And this, uh, these two legends are taking a quite a, making quite a stir. I mean, and rightly so, because they are absolutely stunning cars. That engine is pretty much just a work of art. Oh, it looks like a McLaren has actually just turned up. 720S, I believe. I have no idea. I'm not a McLaren guy, but uh, yeah. Harley Davidson is out. Now this Jag is awesome. Like I said to you when it rolled in, I just love these Jags. I think they're so much car for the money now. Um, but I'm afraid of that, that engine. I'd love one. I think they make a very, very nice sound in V8. I believe this is, that could be a five liter. Cause it's a 61 plate. I know they changed it from the four to the 4.2 to the 5 around that time so I'm taking a guess that's probably the 5 litre supercharged rather than the 4.2 but ironically that I think the 4.2 actually sounds slightly better than the 5 litre controversial or not that sounds nice and I love the way that turbo spool you, you can just hear that for uh, a few seconds after he's taking his foot off the accelerator I wonder if that would work if I did that to my insignia, what do you reckon? 
So I was right. That, I was right. This is the five liter. It's the. I thought it was the supercharged, but it's actually the nas naturally aspirated. Twenty-five hours, twenty-five stops of these. Oh. To come, uh, for the. Uh, what was it for, John? The, the jag. What? For the jag. To, to come. Uh, what's, it, what's it called? To can. Because I make, make twenty-five each day. What was it called? Because for the e-type. Oh, uh, commemoration. Oh, okay. Fifty years of the e-type e jag celebration. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-five of each. Twenty-five of each. Yeah. 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 It's rare. You see, it's an absolutely stunner. And this engine has been around for a while and it's been in so many different things. But my personal opinion, this is one of the most beautiful of all Jaguars. Even though people at the time compared it to the um, Aston Martin DB9, because the same guy designed both cars. I mean, looking in that engine bay, you really don't see anywhere where you put a supercharger, but somehow they managed to stuff it in there. Listen to that. Oh. Oh. oh, someone's burning out again, someone's popping smoke. Oh, that sounded like some tires let loose. The smoke's following him. Back to the Jag. That is a beautiful sounding V8. Yeah, get around a bit. <laughs> you too. See you next time, yeah? Well, that's the second set of 11s. They're even more pronounced than the first set. Oh, Alfa Romeo, Julia. Now, is this a Quadrifoglio Olio Olio? Olio? Now, that's a choice with the gold wheels. That is a definite choice. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are people doing wheelies down there. Might have to take a little walk. M140i rolling in. M140i, giving it some large. I can't see. Smoking again. <laughs> Little course of giving some. Any change gear on the back wheel? Beautiful brand new Range Rover. Autobiography. God, them cars are cool. RS no less.
Oh, that rubber smell is palpable. Right, and with that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, I am going to bid you a good night. I have to leave the video there. I can't stay much longer because I've got to be up early in the morning. And as much as I want to stay and enjoy what's going on, I have to be an adult and I have to be responsible and all that boring stuff. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please. Oh. Please do subscribe, like, and all that good stuff because it really does help me out. The R34 is out. Yeah, as I was saying, like, share and subscribe because it really does help me out with the YouTube algorithm and uh, all that good stuff. And until the next time, take care, stay safe and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.